I'm Karen Featherstone and I'll be reading a short extract from my story Mrs Edwards which is in this anthology The New Abject um, by Comma Press. Just for context Eve lives with her husband Fergal and their toddler Harriet um, but she's had a row with Fergal so she's gone out on, on her own to spend some time at a fun fair. The daylight was fading and Eve was about to head back when the sight of a horse stopped her in her tracks. This horse, this piebald wonder, ambled without saddle or reins between the stalls. Not one person but Eve turned ahead. She must get a photo for Harriet. Eve followed the horse unsteadily on the uneven ground, fumbling to pull out her phone. The horse walked, sure on its path, into the dying rays of the sun, far from the riot and ruckus of the fair. As it stepped, she hurried to catch up. She attempted and failed to match its slow, sure rhythm. The animal set its own unhurried pace with which, as they left the crowds behind, all nearby creatures and even plants were compelled to syncopate. Crickets and dragonflies, earthworms and seditious weeds colluded and coaxed Eve in one direction only. She sensed she was getting both further from and nearer to some unknown innate state. She tried to be ready. Nearly at the edge of the fair, she looked back. The noise and scrum of the stalls, the spinning big wheel, were far behind. There was a handful of people here at the outskirts. The onlookers, onlookers waited for entertainment with odd patience, not like those jostling for the rides. As she got closer, they cleared a path for her. The line opened up, letting her in further along until she stood in second place. She craned her neck to see up ahead what they queued for. In a clearing, a hoarding was propped up against a pram. It was made of one side of a cardboard box. On it was handwritten with thick marker pen. I guess your age. A man stood behind the pram, holding onto the flimsy handles. He wore a tracksuit of no noticeable brand beneath a grey wool army surplus overcoat. On his feet, he wore cracked plastic pool slides with Lacoste on them. And underneath those, white toweling socks, snagged and grubby at the toes. Eve tightened her grip on her bag. In the pram was a child, abandoned to sleep. It was big to be in a pram, and the seat was fully reclined. Perhaps it was disabled, or maybe this pair was so poor, the child's pram was its bed. Its clothes were too small. Under the fingernails, dirt was compacted in lines like pencil.